White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders said today it is unlikely the president knew who Jada Franson was when he retweeted her videos yesterday. Franson is a leader of an extremist group in Britain, and the president's retweets set off a storm across the pond. Here's Charlie Daggett. The far-right anti-Muslim group Britain First is used to street fighting to drive home its extremist message. But now, a day after President Trump retweeted the group's inflammatory videos, the fight has spread to Parliament. He is either a racist, incompetent or unthinking or all three. Opposition politicians piled on the pressure to cancel the official state visit that has been extended to the president. Action is needed now, not a slap on the wrist. Cancel the state visit. He should be treated as anyone else who breaks the law and charged with inciting racial hatred. Even members of the conservative government agreed. So the president has endorsed the views of a vile, hate-filled, racist organization that hates me and people like me. In Jordan on government business, Prime Minister Theresa May clung to the idea of a special relationship with Washington, but she too condemned the president. When we think the United States have got it wrong, retweeting from Britain first was the wrong thing to do. Mr. Trump only fanned the flames when he rebuked the prime minister, warning her to focus on her own business. Even staunch Trump supporter Nigel Farage admitted the president had made a mistake. I do think these videos are in very bad taste, and he's shown poor judgment. Tonight, we learn that U.S. diplomatic posts in some Muslim countries have been put on a heightened security alert as a precaution. A U.S. official told us the president's retweets of those anti-Muslim videos have added to those concerns. Anthony? Charlie Daggett in London. Thanks.